Hello everyone and I uh, hope you enjoyed your uh, your break and welcome back. Um, I'm Kasha, I'll be the chair of this uh, session. Uh, we have three nice presentations in this session. So we'll be hearing from uh, Credoxis, um, uh, BOLED and OTI Lumionics. And so I'm absolutely delighted that Julia is already with me on the stage. So hi, Julia. Nice hi, to have Kasha. you. Um, so Julia is uh, with the uh, Credoxis, and uh, she'll be telling us about novel p dopan concepts for unprecedented freedom in the OLED stack design. Um, I, th I think as usual, we really want you guys to ask questions, to engage, you know, it gives us very good energy. So don't forget to type in your questions in the chat box and we'll try to answer all the questions. Um, so yeah, without any further delay, uh, Julia, whenever you're ready, uh, please do share your slides and, and start. Mm -hmm. So thank you, Kasia, for the introduction. And uh, we would also like to thank the organizers, of course, for giving us the opportunity to present Credoxus technology as, at this online event. And today I will talk about our novel PDOP and concepts. And I hope that I con can convince you that with these new materials, we gain a much greater freedom in OLED stack design. And this will help in um, developing higher performance displays. So there are basically no organic electronic devices commercially available without p dopants and above all, um, this is true for OLED displays, which has been which have been using p dopants for over ten years now. And there are some good reasons for that. Because um, p dopants enable high power efficiency, long lifetime, and robust production. And how do they do so? Well, p dopants are used in a whole transport material and increase the conductivity, which would otherwise be very low. And when they are used adjacent to the anode, so in the whole injection layer, they uh, create an ohmic like contact and enable efficient hole injection. So they facilitate the injection and transport of holes to the emitting layer and thereby they reduce the operating voltage. But they are also used to tune the charge balance, so balance of holes and electrons and thereby they affect um, the efficiency and the lifetime of the device. And they do so quite independently of the surface condition of the anode, so of the ITO, and thereby they enable robust production. But there are also some trade-offs. Um, so p dopants absorb visible light. So um, if you use higher amount of p dopants you will see trade-offs uh, with efficiency. And they increase not only the vertical conductivity, but also the lateral conductivity. And this leads to pixel crosstalk, as I will also explain uh, within a moment. So this is also part of the answer uh, to the question below here. Why do we need innovation in p dopants So we are convinced that next generation OLEDs need next generation p dopants So there are some trends in OLED technology that result in increasing requirements on p dopants And uh, our novel p dopant technology has answers to all of these trends. So they have some unique features which um, benefit um, in OLED displays um, with these trends. So one is the tunable doping strength. So we don't offer just one p dopant but a platform. And within this platform, we can tune the doping strength to match different whole transport materials. And I will explain how this can be used to lower crosstalk and which is important especially important uh, considering the higher pixel densities. Secondly, uh, we can offer very strong p dopants And this is interesting if you want to dope deep homohole transport materials, which couldn't be doped efficiently before. And this helps to uh, get the most out of new emitter technologies. And thirdly, the very low absorption of all of our p dopants And this helps in increasing efficiencies, and especially when using higher amounts of p dopants like in stacked architecture. Okay. So what's new about these p dopants um, So it's a completely new material platform, a material class based on cerium compounds, so metal organic compounds, 